everyone, this is Lala Reddy from Abstract Music Lab and today I'm back to the sound design series. Today I'm recreating a pluck inspired by Inelea and it sounds like this. This is the original sound. Again. Now if you want to listen to it in context. As usual, if you want to grab this preset, you can grab it here in the description below, available in the pack that Furcloud did for Production Music Live. But let's get down to business and let's get started with the sound design. This is going to be done in Vital. And if you want to look at the MIDI, just so we can start, this is what we're gonna work with today. It changes a little bit over here. Just to create a little bit of variation, but let's get started here with Vital. We're gonna initialize Vital. As you can see it over here, it's initial preset over here. And now we're gonna start and choose here oscillator one, two, and three, but let's start with oscillator one. We're gonna choose here a classic bend, blend, and we're gonna put this over here. This wet position, we're gonna put it to 141 almost like a saw wave. Also, what we're gonna do here, we're gonna put the tune over here to 0.5. Now we're gonna choose oscillator two, we're gonna choose here a basic shapes. And this is going to be now if you want to put it in context, this is also going to go here at 150. So now it's a sawtooth with a square wave. And to start this, we're gonna put this over here to 10 voices. And the detune to three voices. Just a tad. And here we're gonna put it to six voices. And the detune to four voices. Now, lastly, we're gonna choose oscillator three. It's gonna be an initial preset. But here we're gonna put it to minus 12 bring in a little bit of the low end. And one thing that we forgot is putting the tune over here to three or four. And here we're gonna put it to minus three. Just to create a little bit of the tune between the oscillators over here. And essentially that is it. Now we're gonna put the level of all of them to zero. Exact the oscillator three that is going to go to point 0.32. And this is going to stay right over there because with the envelope one, we're going to modulate the level of these three oscillators. So envelope one, what we're going to do here is we're going to put the attack here to 0 0.11, 0 0.011. The decay is going to go here at right around over here. The sustain is going to go down up to the middle of it. And the release is going to go right around over here. Now this, we're going to modulate envelope one, envelope two, and envelope three. What we're going to do here with the modulation, this one is going to go at 0.74. This one is going to go at 0.76. And this one is going to go here at 0.53, 43. And now this is essentially what the sound is like. But now we're gonna further shape the sound and we're gonna add a sample also of white noise. We're gonna put the level almost all the way down. It's gonna be almost like this. And we're gonna put the envelope over here. This is going to go here around 0.31. So you can hear it adds a little bit of noise to the sound. Now lastly, filter. One, two, three, and sample. And analog 12 dB, okay? So now what we're gonna do here is the cutoff is going to go around 160 hertz. And you might ask me, Leo, but this, my Vito is in semitones. Yeah, you have to go here to advanced and put it over here to hertz, and then it's gonna work the fine. So 160 over here, drive, mix, and key track, all the same. Resonance also, all the same. It's gonna remain here at 50. But now we're gonna modulate this with envelope one. And envelope one is gonna modulate this by 52.7, something like this. 
Perfect. And also what we're going to do here, we're going to bring a randomness to the filter cutoff. And we're going to put this over here to 15, 14, something like this. That's perfect. Okay, that's it with the oscillator section. Now we're going to go into the effect section. And into the effect section, we're going to choose first EQ, then distortion, chorus, delay, and reverb. That's essentially what we're going to do. So EQ, we're just going to use the first band and we're going to put the gain all the way down in a high shelf. And this is going to go here around 60 hertz, just to take all the low end frequencies out. Now distortion is going to be a soft clip and we're going to put this over here to 4.5, 4.6. This is going to boost a little bit of the sound. Chorus is going to open up the sound a little bit. So without it, and now with it, we're going to put this here to 22%. You can see it creates a little bit of trouble in the sound, right? So delay, we're going to first put this here to stereo, one eighth. The feedback is going to remain the same. The mix is going to go down to 23. And we have to change a little bit here in the cutoff and the spread. But before, let's listen. We don't want that much low end frequency. So that's why we're going to bring the cutoff all the way up here. And the spread to 0.53. Now it only delays the high end frequencies of it. And lastly, a reverb, we're not going to change anything over here. And we're just going to put this over here to 0.23. And that's it with the sound. So if you want to listen to it again in context. And again, isolated. And that's it. I hope you liked this tutorial. And if you liked it, hit the like button. If you loved it, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future videos from the Sound Design channel. This is Leo Already from Abstract Music Lab. Cheers. Hi, this video is sponsored by us. If you like these tutorials and want to support the channel, please check out our website packed with online courses and professional sample packs. Also check our ready to use and club tested serum presets. You can browse by the genre and style you're looking for or get the incredible deal with the full serum preset button. Thank you for listening and now let's get back to your tutorial.